This massive package weighs 20 pounds and has $700 of dice in it. Don't worry folks, I didn't pay nearly that much. So, how did I do it? I'm about to show you. So first off, is it Kraken or Kraken? Let me know in the comments. Either way, every once in a while they run these crazy stacking sales where the more you spend, the more free stuff you get. So the particular one I ordered from was back in early spring, it was their spring sale. Since then they did one for Memorial Day that they stretched into June, and they're actually doing one right now for the 4th of July. So if you like what you see, go check them out afterwards and get yourself a crazy good deal. So let's start getting into this big bad boy and see what we got in here. First up, big old box. We'll have to uh, crack that one open here. I can't even fit that on the screen. And then the top ordering with this giant messenger bag. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try and throw a picture up. This thing is gigantic. So let's get this box open. Let's see what we got. So I guess we'll be uh, cracking into a lot of cracking dice here. So I'm just going to dump this bad boy on. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I can't get roll at all. <laughs> so I'm going to sort this stuff out into what was free and what I actually paid for, and then we'll start going through it. All right, so everything you see here is what I earned for free, including the giant messenger bag. I mean, this thing is actually really big. It's actually pretty cool. It's like a heavy canvas material. It looks really solidly built. Nice big pockets. You put a lot of stuff in here. And the cool thing is, hopefully this shows up, this is all like the Velcro backing. So you could slap a bunch of cool patches on here that you're taking this to a game convention or something, or take them off, you're like uh, traveling for business or something, you use this for that too. So I like that it's multi-purpose, it seems well built, heavy duty. So I'm, I'm gonna try it out and see, what it, see how it does. Now the cool thing is when I ordered, they actually didn't have everything in stock. That's what it said on the order form. But when it showed up here, look, I've got everything. So there's the free miniature dice set, the nice blue color here, that looks pretty cool a five set of miniatures. Now these aren't, you know, never seen their miniatures before. So if you're curious, they look like, um, I'd say like high quality board game level. You know, these aren't like games workshop, but they're pretty good. Like they'd fit right in in a good quality board game there. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, Velcro patch, throw that on the messenger bag. A whole slew of mystery dice sets here. We got a seven piece, a 12 piece, a 14. This is supposed to be an eight piece, came with a little dice bag too, so that's cool. There's this clear D20 display case, so check that out. And then as you got higher up, I've got a giant glow in the dark D20 that we'll have to look at and an aluminum metal set, so that'll be cool. And it's eight piece, so that's pretty awesome. So let's start getting into some of these guys. All right, so first up we got the little mini dice set. It's kind of this cool tealish color with white membranes, so they're pretty easy to see, even though they are really tiny. Let's see how they roll for me. A five, oh gosh, five of one, not the best. <laughs> Oh, well, it's free. You know what? Here, this is the uh, D20 display case. It's got this lid that pops off pretty nicely. Oh, I can't do it now. Oh, gosh. Yeah, actually, it holds it really well. So you could use this, you know, you could fill this with dice or anything, really. It's kind of a neat decoration. I'm going to use it as a little dice gel right now. Um, hopefully, I don't have to keep putting more in here. But yeah, a little mini set. In you go. There we go. Put that on the desk for a while. Let them cool off. So this is a seven piece RPG dice set from their Dice Market mystery pack here. So let's check this bad boy out, see what we got. Love the use of mystery dice, so when you get those for free, I always miss it exciting. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at these guys. Wow, that is a very purpley set. If you like purple, this is the set for you. Take a look at that. That's a nice like glitter effect in there with the blue and the purple. There are like, purple stars in there. Now, the purple numbering, to me, you know, it, it makes it a little hard to read these. Uh, if you're a fan of purple, it's it's a little better in person than it does look on the camera here. But, yeah, kind of not the easiest to read. But if you're a big fan of purple, maybe the dice set for you. Okay, next up, we have their eight-piece set that came with a dice bag. It's actually a pretty nice little dice bag. I really like the uh, closure here. It seems really solidly built. Kind of like a cool 80s throwback theming here on the bag. So let's see what we got. Ooh, it's in a little bit. Okay, that's a yellow set. <laughs> really like solid color sets here. <laughs> yellow on yellow. I had purple on purple, now it's yellow on yellow. All right. Man, these are actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I, actually, it's a gold on yellow there. So I'm getting really like honey vibes from this dice set. 
it's actually a little easier than I thought it would be to read with both those, you know, yellow goldish colors. So, not too bad. <laughs> Doing better. But yeah, pretty cool little set there. Nice little effect. You like yellow? You got the Kraken logo there. Kraken, Kraken. Little uh, D2 here. As making an eight, an eight piece set, so yeah, not too bad. I like the dice bag for sure. Not sure about the dice set yet, but I might warm up to them. We're moving on up here now, we got 12 piece mystery sets. So let's crack this bad boy open, see what we get. All right. Ooh, okay. Wow. Ooh, okay, these have like a layer effect on there. Look at that. Like a purplish, a blue. I don't know if that's showing up there on the camera. Purple, blue, yellow, and a green kind of pastels here with the silver numbering. Very interesting. Very good for like a fey fairy creature, like a pixie or something. The numbering actually does stand out pretty well. I'm getting kind of like, yeah, like fairy forest vibes from these guys. <laughs> so yeah, I got two D20s here, a couple D6s, yeah, four of them. Got the D2 and then your standard array there. So not too bad for a 12 piece set. You never know what you're going to get, right? The last of the mystery packs here. This is the 14 piece of the big boy. So let's go in and see what we get. <laughs> oh, open these on camera. You never know if we get it quite right. Fast forward through all this. Here we go. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Another purple set. <laughs> Look at this. Woo. So it's like a purple and white mix. That's kind of an odd color combination there. I would not have thought of that. But look at this giant chonk d20 you get with it that's cool i like the font choice in this style that's uh that looks really good and then they've got some reflective material in here kind of a silver flake in there on the purple that's cool oh it's throughout the white here too you can see that on the regular d20 oh yeah oh and there's a mini d20 <laughs> that's kind of funny i like that you got yourself a d2 Ooh, now this is a unique style d4 look it's even got the numbers on it those capped ends, I like that. That's actually really neat. I hope I see that in more dice. That That is cool, I like this. You're not gonna hurt yourself as much when you step on this guy and it's got the numbers on those ends. That I haven't seen before. I've seen this truncated style for D4s, but I haven't seen where the number's actually on the end there. That's really cool, I like that. That's That, that alone might make me play with this dice set. Otherwise, I'm kidding. This is like almost like a um, Purple cow, you know, purple cow drink. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. Grape soda with ice cream. It's kind of weird. Take on a vanilla or a root beer float. But yeah, somebody out there, this is the dice set for you. I don't know. I'd have to, what kind of character do you think these would fit? Let me, you know, like, let me know in the comments because I don't know what I'd use these for. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. This is the 55 millimeter mystery glow in the dark D20. Whoa, oh, that is bright orange with bold black letters. That's, this is like a giant pumpkin die for Halloween. This, and it glows in the dark. I, I think that works actually really well. Okay, I gotta try and charge this bad boy up real quick. I'll be right back. And so this is about as dark as I can get this room and this is charged up for only like 30 seconds, but you can see that glows really nicely. That is really cool. I like the effect on that. I'm definitely gonna use this. I'm gonna use this in a horror themed Halloween game here coming up in the fall. All right, let's get back to them. <laughs> So the last item I got was an eight piece aluminum set. I ordered one of these, so hopefully I don't get double ups here. Unless, well, that actually wouldn't be too bad because I, I really like the color combo on the set I picked. Ooh, whoa, look at these guys. Ooh, this is a nice, it's a, first off, it's a nice little metal case here. It's got this really solid foam padding in there to hold them, but they're all individually wrapped. So let me get some of these bad boys out. Ooh, wow, okay, I'll keep it there. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that is cool black and like a tealish metallic blue with the white lettering man and dang <laughs> i'm not having the best luck today with these free dice but you know they're free dice i can't complain <laughs> oh well <laughs> i'll keep working on them here let me get the rest of them out real quick i'll show you all right so here's the set out of the case here you can actually see the solid foam you take it out there's padding at the bottom of this guy and there's actually padding on the lid too so if you needed to you could use that case as a little dice roller tray but yeah look at this this is their aluminum dice sets are nice take a look at that in the hand feels really good it's got that nice weight of metal nice sound to it Man. look at this they've they've done like a chamfering they've you know flattened all those edges i really like the styling on that i think that looks good especially on the d6 here that is just sharp looking even the corners there 
the precision you can get with these aluminum dice, it's really neat. And the, the numbering's done really well on there, the etching of that. These are just sharp looking dice. So for a free dice set, this is amazing. I'm super happy with this. Let's get all the freebies together. I'm gonna roll these a little out of order because I don't, you know, some of them get damaged the others. So that's the eight piece aluminum set. This is the giant glow in the dark D20. These I think are by far my favorites. I really like the bold number design on this giant D20 and it's got a really cool glow in the dark effect. It's still actually mildly glowing a little bit. And then that aluminum set, I was just going over that. Like that is, that's why I bought one of these because they look amazing and they were on a great sale. All right, here we go. Got the giant 12 piece set here. We got the 14 piece set. I can't even pick all those up at once. But yeah, these feature that really cool truncated D4 with the number on the edge. Like, that's amazing, you know. 12 piece set here, it's just a regular kind of standard D4. All right, this is the seven die set. Put the purples together. <laughs> Here's that eight piece set in the dice bag. The yellow set, kind of put that over there. I do like this one though. It's kind of, to me, it's almost like, um, it's got like a honey bee vibe to it. So I'm kind of digging that. And then our little guys, it's nice teal. Like it's, it's like a nice color combination. I like it. So I'll put that right there in the middle. And then of course the clear crystal die case. I guess you could try and roll this, but that one edge might pop off. So better as a display piece for sure. <laughs> yeah, not a bad haul there for all that for free on top. Pretty happy camper here. All right, let's get into what I actually bought.